With the monkey scared away, Carr went to the wall of the building where Mowgli was trapped, and using his mighty strength, battered a hole for Mowgli to climb out. We be one blood, thou and I. I take my life from thee tonight. My kill shall be thy kill, if ever thou art hungry, O Carr, said Mowgli. And Balu smiled at the good manners of this man cub. Now, said Bagheera, jump on my back, little brother, and we will go home. The time came for Mowgli to leave the forest and join the world of man. Hungry and without knowing the language, he sat in the dirt and gestured at his mouth until a fat priest let him into the village. But Mowgli was not happy in the world of man and wouldn't play with the other children, for they teased him when he didn't understand their games. Hmm? One day, Mowgli saw the potter's donkey caught in a mud pit, and using his great strength, grasped the donkey by the tail and pulled it free of the sticky mud. At night, the village hunter, Buldio, would tell outlandish stories about the jungle, and Mowgli would scowl at the fiction, huffing because he knew better. Later that year, Grey Brother, who was part of Mowgli's wolf family, came to Mowgli and said, Shere Khan hunts you again. This time he means to kill you. I have a plan for that old tiger, said Mowgli. Wait by the dak tree, and when you see him, come signal to me in the village. Then, together, we will herd the bulls and cows and catch Shere Khan in the ravine. <laughs> 